Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on a clipping mask. It's fairly simple to do and you can create some really good effects with it. I'm going to start with a photograph. So some people like to place a photograph in or embed it or do whatever. I just like to open my photograph, click it, copy it and paste it into my document I'm going to work in. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use V, we're going to select our photograph and we're going to command C which is copy. And if you command W, it will shut down this photograph. It takes me to this other artboard that I've created. Now, if you don't have to create artboards, you just want to go up to File, New, and in here you can put your whatever dimensions your project needs. I'm working in pixels. This is a screen size resolution, so I'm just going to close that down. So I'm going to Command V, which is Paste, and it's pasted my photograph in there. Now, I'm going to blow this up. It's a decent sized quality image. I got off Shutterstock, purchased it. Remember, any images you're going to use in commercial projects, just buy them. Don't get them off Google because you haven't got the rights to it. So the first thing we're going to do is make it fill the space. So I'm going to use the Align tool. Now, if it's not open, it might be up in your toolbar. If it's not, you can hit Window and get the Align function open. So select your picture and align it to the left and then get that right hand edge and as you drag it out hold down shift and it'll keep it in proportion just drag it right out to the edge and we're good to go so what we want to do now i'm going to do a text clipping path okay it's a nice effect especially over an image like this so i'm just going to hit t i'm going to click and i'm going to type clipping mask so I'm going to command click away from the copy and then press V and I'm going to move the text into the middle of the images. But rather than waiting for the smart tools or whatever, I'm just going to use the align tool again. So central and horizontal. Now I'm just going to change the color of it to white so you can see it. And there we go. Now what we want to do, we want to mask the photograph within these letters. So we need to make the live font an outline. Now the easiest, well, you can go up to type and you can do create outline, uh, but the shortcut of it is command shift zero. Trying to use shortcuts whenever you can. So we'll just see if it's still aligned correctly because sometimes when you convert them to outlines, it'll shift a little bit. So horizontal, vertical rather, and horizontal. So move down a little bit. Make it a touch bigger if you like, just to fill the space. So from this point, we should be able to make a clipping mask, but because it's a vector shape now, we need to make it a compound path. So we need to go to object, select your shape, object, compound path, and make. So the shortcut is command eight. So we're gonna use a shortcut instead. Command eight. Now, it's just dropped out the color, but we know it's now a compound path. So all we have to do now is select your the thing you want to mask and the photograph so we're going to drag the cursor over both now remember the important thing is the shape that you're going to mask it into needs to be on the top if it's behind it won't work so now what we're going to do is select both of them and if you want to do it the long way you can go object clipping mask and make so it's command seven is a shortcut so let's use the shortcut command seven and if you just click off it, you can see it's clipped the image to within those letters. It looks quite nice. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.